All right, guys, how's it going? So there's been one or two changes for Adore TV. As you can see, I am now sporting a new banner, which says Adore TV Technology Vision. The reason for which is pretty simple, yeah? It was brought to my attention because I had already forgotten, but two months ago, I had 5,200 subscribers. And a couple of days ago, it was brought to my attention that I have doubled my subscribers in two months. And the reason for that is, of course, videos like this. My Zen video, my Pascal Polaris video, and my Gameworks video. Basically speaking, I've spent a year building 5,000 subscribers, and in the last two months, it's doubled due to maybe two or three videos. <laughs> Which kind of shows you how YouTube works. Now, my Let's Plays are not doing quite so well, and that was also brought to my attention by a few of you. I've known this for a while. Really, the Let's Plays are all about content because they're very easy to do, yeah? And people who like to just watch my content, you know, a lot of people are quite happy to just listen to my voice, and it keeps the content ticking along. I don't need to think about what I'm doing, which is the tough part for doing these videos, yeah? Getting content into a channel is a very difficult thing, especially original content. I was watching Joker there, and he just said the exact same thing in his latest video. It's all about getting the content. Anyway, what I was talking about was these Let's Plays, they're not really doing it. They're not doing it for me, they're not doing it for you. I enjoy doing them, but the views aren't worth it because it takes a long time for me. Every one of these is four hours of editing videos and stuff like that for me, yeah? And I've just done a video for my patrons. I do a video for my patrons every month and I've just said the same thing to them. It's like four hours in one of these episodes. It's four hours I could be spending on tech videos, either researching or just making them, yeah? So the channel is now going to be heavily technology based, like 90%. I will still be doing some gaming coverage. However, the Let's Plays are going now. I'm still interested in stuff like Star Citizen, but I'm more likely going to do stuff that's interesting, like if you've ever watched some of my older videos when I go into depth about the mechanics and uh, the stuff like keybinds, the stuff that people find interesting. Because really, for me, YouTube's about two things. It's either educational or it's entertaining. And I probably do educational better than entertaining. But it's a lot of work, yeah? Uh, I mean, this is three days. This video here's three days. This one's three days. This one, <laughs> my Gameworks one must have been about a week. I obviously can't build an entire channel around videos like this, yeah? So... Just be aware that I'm going to be doing other things. Some more kind of bread and butter type things rather than these massive 20 plus minute videos. With that in mind, please feel free to give me ideas because like I said, it really is all about the content. Now, I'm thinking about maybe doing something like a help desk where I just do short videos on computer help type stuff. PC building is what I used to do for a living before I started doing this and it's something that I may go back to if the channel doesn't take off. Luckily, the channel looks like it's doing pretty well now, but there's a long way to go. So really, I do need to get more content in, more than one or two videos per week, obviously. Yeah, you've got to be doing more than that, and I will be. But if you guys can give me some ideas, I'll be happy to listen to them. Right, so a couple of things I want to go over. Before the recent influx of new subscribers, I was happy to answer all questions, yeah? People would leave responses in the comments and I would happily answer them back. I still try to do this. However, understand now that every day I wake up to something like this, and I am getting maybe five, six hundred messages every single day now. Not all of them directed towards me, but in the past, I would have responded to every single query. Now, it's just getting that little bit more difficult to do. So if I don't respond, it's nothing personal. It's just simply, I don't have the time to do it, yeah? On a similar note, YouTube is good at mangling comments anyway. I've got stuff like this, you know, a bunch of spam supposedly. When I click on it, it's not spam, but YouTube has spammed it anyway. Some people think I'm deleting their comments. I am not deleting your comments. It's just YouTube being shit. Sadly though, when I click on this, it doesn't show all of them. It only shows one and then I think it gets rid of the rest. So if your comment's gone missing, it's YouTube that's done it. It's not me. I will never moderate any comment on my channel unless it is downright offensive, yeah? So you guys can argue with each other all you want. It's nothing to do with me if your comment goes missing. <laughs> this is what I mean. Here is my Polaris Pascal video. There are comments waiting approval. If I click on review, no comments to display, but I know there are a bunch of comments that YouTube has spammed and I can't see them. Even if I click on this now, nothing. Now, one of the things about doing tech videos is there's a lot of fanboys around and a few of them have been having a real go at me, which is sort of what I expected anyway. You can't avoid this thing when you're talking about technology. And basically, I've been labelled a fanboy of every company you can imagine. Now, obviously, I get AMD fanboy a lot, especially because of my Gameworks video. The fact of the matter is, Gameworks does my head in, yeah? I have an AMD graphics card. If you had an AMD graphics card, Gameworks would do your head in. It's nothing to do with being a fanboy. 
Yeah, it's just, it just bugs the hell out of me. So unless you can put yourself into that position, where you see NVIDIA stuff harming performance on your own graphics card, then it's a difficult thing to understand. But it's not only that. I mean, here was another one on my Polaris versus Pascal video. Apparently I'm full of horse shit and I'm bought by NVIDIA. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> these are the sort of comments that I get, yeah? I don't mind. I'm quite happy. I will argue with anybody in my own comment section. In my Zen video, some guy even called me an Intel fanboy. So really, yeah, that's me, an AMD, an NVIDIA, and an Intel fanboy all at the same time. Just keep it in mind, yeah, if you're thinking about this sort of stuff. <laughs> There's a fair chance that maybe the issues with you being a fanboy. What it comes down to is I'm trying to create content, interesting content. I do have a bit of a bee in my bonnet about corporations acting abusively, yeah? So NVIDIA does get a bit of my ire because they're that type of company. It's that simple. If AMD was doing the same thing, AMD would be getting my ire. It's that simple. So just be aware, yeah? I mean, that is my personality. Nothing like that would ever get in the way of me giving you the best information I can, however, because what it comes down to is, here's a prime example, yeah? My Smart Buyer's High End 2000 PC build. Graphics card, EVGA 980 Ti SC+. Plus. Why did I choose that graphics card? I chose that graphics card because it's the best high-end graphics card. Game works or not, it doesn't matter. People are watching my videos trying to get information, good information. I would never go with something like a Fury X here because I know that the 980 Ti is the better card. It's that simple. Almost all of my buys have got Intel CPUs, apart from the very low-end one. I wouldn't touch AMD CPUs with a barge pole. So understand that when you're saying stuff like I'm being paid by AMD, while I'm also saying stuff like I wouldn't touch AMD CPUs with a barge pole, it doesn't really make sense, guys. I'm just telling it like it is. And that's what I'm going to continue to do on this technology channel for now and forever. I'm sort of on holiday this week, but I will try to get another tech video out before the end of the week. Just be aware that I'm also fixing up all this stuff here. I need to get my layout sorted out. I'm going to get rid of all this gaming stuff off the front page and get a proper technology channel layout. I'm going to be looking at doing some software things as well. And I've also got the idea of perhaps doing a series of videos on getting started on YouTube. That would be absolutely everything from buying the components and setting it all up, that sort of thing. So let me know if any of you would be interested in that. If you want my advice, I would say do not ever start up a YouTube channel, <laughs> especially not a Let's Play one, because it's really, really saturated and very, very tough. But it could make for an interesting series of videos anyway. So let me know if there's any demand for that. And again, anything whatsoever you can think of, fire away in the comments below. I'll catch you later, guys.